Hello and welcome to This is Nigeria, Unlocking Our Potential. Now this is the program that showcases Nigeria's investment and development opportunities across the 36 states of Nigeria and most especially in the non-oil sectors of the economy. There are so many opportunities out there at sites from oil that Nigeria has depended upon. And today our searchlight is on the Eco Chocolate Show. The Eco Chocolate Show was organized a while ago by Etioni Development Group. The maiden edition of the Eco Chocolate Show, which is about the cocoa derivatives that are produced in Nigeria. And a whole lot of exhibitors were there with their products. I never knew so much was being done with cocoa in Nigeria. My name is Mayoa Oluwebi. Don't touch that dial. We'll be back. This is Nigeria, unlocking our potential. A country of over 200 million people is obviously the marketplace and the investment destination of choice. Every week, we bring you the non-oil sectors of the economy, ranging from agriculture, solid mineral, human capital development, education, health, and many more. Join us every Wednesday, 12.30 p.m. on this channel. This is Nigeria, unlocking our potential. Nigeria is one of the foremost producers of cocoa in the world. In fact, the country is ranked fourth on the list of cocoa producing countries behind Côte d'Ivoire, Ghana and Indonesia. According to history, Cocoa originated from Central America about 5,000 years ago and through trade and colonialism spread to other parts of the world, including Nigeria. Cocoa is said to have arrived in Nigeria in the 1870s and was first cultivated in the Cross River axis of the country, which soil proved unsuitable for its cultivation. The crop then moved to Lagos and present-day Ogun State before spreading across the western part of the country. In the 1950s and 1960s, cocoa was a major foreign exchange earner for Nigeria and the country rose to become number two cocoa producing country in the world by 1970. Subsequent discovery of crude oil in the country led to a decline in the country's cocoa production and a significant loss of its share in the global cocoa market in the 1970s and 1980s. The Economic Recovery and Growth Plan ERGP of the present administration has seen a meaningful resurgence of cocoa production in the country as Nigeria beats to harness all available resources for the development of an equitable society. Cocoa is the main ingredient used in the production of chocolate. Over the years, Nigerian cocoa producers have concentrated their efforts in the production of cocoa for export. The developed countries to which the cocoa is exported then add value to the cocoa by processing it into chocolate or cocoa butter these products then find their way back to the Nigerian market with added value, depriving the Nigerian economy of much needed benefits. In recent years, business people in Nigeria have got wise to the fact that local value addition to cocoa through processing is of immense benefit to the local economy. Supported by government policy through the ERGP, chocolate and other products are now being manufactured locally. This is the background to the founding of the Eco Chocolate Show, which first edition recently took place in Lagos. The show, organized by the Etioni Development Group, in collaboration with the Lagos State Ministry of Agriculture, was to bring together all those in the value chain of cocoa, including investors, partners, manufacturers, experts, entrepreneurs, traders, consumers, and other stakeholders. The event, which attracted chocolate producers from around the country, was a great success as various exhibitors participated in the chocolate-themed events, including a chef challenge to discover the best chocolate maker. This award of chocolate artistry has been presented to the first runner-up, the Go Chocolate Chef Challenge 2019, today, 14 April 2019, signed by His Royal Majesty the Unlawing of the Tour. Chairman of the Antioch Nagel Organization. The day 14th April, signed by the Royal Majesty the Abominion of Antioch, the Chairman of the Antioch Government Group. Your Excellency, on this 
choose where you want to go of uh, the 27 destinations we operate. There are terms and conditions in here, you will see, but yes, uh, you will choose. Thank you so much. Thank you. His Royal Highness Obadoku Thompson, the Olone of a TOD or Shoe State, gives a historical background to the Eko Chocolate Show. After the Kiriji War, that end between the 1878 and 1886, my great grandfather established a Tioni. And from establishing a Tioni, he brought cocoa in. So we are the oldest cocoa plantation in the country, producing cocoa since 122 years. You see, at the end of the day, he's done his bit. He's left it. Some that were before me also contributed. And I've believed that the next thing to do was to add value, take it to a new level. And when we started, we're going to celebrate 120 years, we now took it out to the rest of the world in a cocoa festival. In the fifth edition, we said, OK, that was 2018. We said the next stage is to move it into Valley addition and the natural location for that is Lagos. Lagos being a heavily populated cosmopolitan city which has a young trendy population and with enough capacity to enjoy a level of luxury. One of the exhibitors at the Eco Chocolate Show, Muji Aino of Port Chocolates, shares her experiences as to how she got into chocolate making and the challenges so far. Oh, um, I wanted chocolate at my wedding and I couldn't find anyone making chocolates and I was like, we have so much cocoa in Nigeria, why aren't we doing chocolates? And so that's kind of how I started and started making chocolates. Well, we buy the beans, we sort it out, we roast, we do the whole thing from the cocoa beans to the chocolate bars that you see. Very unique flavors. We have a zingi zobo made with zobo leaves. Um, I think we're the only ones doing that at the moment. It's a very unique bar. Uh, well, we have a, uh, it's a vegan chocolate, so there's no milk or anything in it. Um, so we process the cocoa leaves in such a way that we come up with a delicious chocolate bar. Irilu Abiola Dusubu, a Lagos socialite and business tycoon who was at the event took a more philosophical view of Nigeria's development as a nation and our appreciation of what is ours. Beautifully endowed country with all kinds of resources to make us the best in the world and the richest in the world. From natural resources, from agriculture, from oil, from uh, valuable um, natural materials, gold, we have everything to be the best that we could be. But the problem is, I don't know why, but we never appreciate who we are and what we are. We always look on the other side of the fence, that other people's uh, garden is better than ours, whereas we have the best. One of the sponsors of the event and CEO, Multi Treks Integrated Foods PLC, a cocoa producing and processing company, Dimeji Wofemi, gives perspective on why value addition to cocoa is of great importance to the Nigerian economy. When you ship the beans out to Europe to go and add the value, for whatever reason, what you've done is you've shipped out jobs. And I always say to people, the only definition of developed or undeveloped country is industrialization. Now, until you industrialize, you are not regarded as a developed nation. Which, for me, if cocoa is the second largest foreign exchange earner of the non-oil export is the topmost, why do we need to continue to do it wrong? No nation depends on one source of revenue if it wants to create a sustainable economic development and a future for its citizens.
Countries have all grown and sustained their respective economies through non-oil exports and Nigeria Export Promotion Council, NEPC, is strategically positioned to do more on 22 priority export products under the Zero Oil Plan, the One State, One Product Initiative and the Nigeria Diaspora Export Program, which are needed pillars of success in our economic recovery and growth plan. Invest in non-oil export business such as sorghum, cassava, yam, shearnut, ginger, and reap bountifully. Export business guarantees a prosperous future through inclusive wealth and job creation. Join hands to make Nigeria one of the top 20 largest economies in the world. Export business, tomorrow's business. For further inquiries, visit .nepc.gov.ng. Welcome back. If you're just joining us, we're still on the Eco Chocolate Show. Now that is the latest show in town. I never knew so much was being done with cocoa in Nigeria. This is Nigeria. It's still going on and Eco Chocolate Show is on. Don't go away. Barry Calabot, a Dutch chocolate manufacturing company with presence in Nigeria, was represented by the general manager, Adrian Verbeek. He speaks on doing business in Nigeria despite the security challenges. Nigeria is, for starters, the biggest economy in Africa. It's also a big market. It's a very dynamic place. We're very much looking forward to seeing the products here. Because chocolate today is mostly consumed in Europe, in the United States, and we see more of coming up in Africa, and it's one of the reasons why we want to set up. We're already selling in uh, different places like Ivory Coast, where obviously we're very present because there's lots of cocoa in Ivory Coast. In Nigeria, we don't have a presence, and it's a real shame that we need to work on this. So this is why we're setting up in this spot. Mrs. Tukumbo Dohati, a guest at the show, shares her experiences. They have sobo chocolate, they have um, coconut and pineapple chocolate, they have the spicy ones, different flavors, and they're so creamy, they just melt in your mouth. And it's very, you, you know, it's international, of international standard. Another guest, Sharia Digbita, talks about the flavor of the chocolates on display at the Eco Chocolate Show. I'm a lover of chocolate. I haven't seen anything like this. It's, it tastes so natural. Wow. I wonder what they have mixed it with it, but it's really nice. It's really nice. So we should promote it. And the government should really come to assist whoever is producing any of this from the cocoa. What are the highlights after this? It's a surprise, but it's Moji I know. We get uh, away from everybody for now. I mean, all day. Because we were going to you know, we celebrate one another. As a matter of fact, I'm a chemist by profession. I am interested in the chemistry of natural products. Um, and I've also been interested, first of all, in developing um, industries in Nigeria. That's an area of interest. And then cocoa, because of the chemistry of cocoa, I'm really interested in developing um, the cocoa to the extent that they have in, you know, in developed economies. Um, from co uh, yeah, from from be yeah, the co from bean the bean to bar, you know, to chocolate, and I like the ideas of um, developing ancillary products from it. You know, like the cocoa butter, and uh, I mean they use cocoa butter for so many things. So develop and even even scrubs. But um, I think Nigeria has the capacity to overtake Cote d'Ivoire. You understand? In cocoa production, because we have the plantation and all that, you know, in the southwest, you know, you know what 
get investors that can come in to invest in the processing um, segment of the, the value chain, you understand? Then I'm sure we'll be able to add value, you know, because that's another thing. If you can add value to a product, it it's, um, helps you to um, increase the revenue that you can make from that product. So, but that's, not, that's one thing Nigeria is not really doing. We're not adding value, we're not processing. The taste is natural, it's purely cocoa. And it's no sugar, nothing, nothing. It's natural, it's original. We thank you to everyone present to make this possible. Thank you for showing up. Uh, this product we won't have been possible if none of you showed up. Thank you to the organizers, thank you to the sponsors, thank you to the judges, and my, uh, and my fellow sister, I'm calling you. Thank you so much. The unlearning of a tune of Baduku Thompson, co-organizer of the show, speaks more on the value of the show and expected gains from the organization of the Eco Chocolate Show. Coco has several variables to it. It can create multiple levels of businesses from the confectionery to the chocolate, right? To the cosmetics, to pharmaceuticals. And additionally, you have the tourism aspect, you have the education aspect, you have the research opportunities. It's limitless. And what Nigeria has been losing is over two, three billion dollars of possible income annually and that is what the Eco Chocolate Show is about to create that renaissance that we're doing um, on Coco from Coco Festival uh, so that at the end of it all several job opportunities would have been created to transform communities and to create possibilities that we felt were not there or that we felt were the reserve of the Europeans or the Americans. No, it's actually our product and it's something we're going to add value to and reap the, the benefits of those values. How then can the government step in to help improve cocoa business and by extension chocolate production in Nigeria? We need to understand the models that is required. The government regulatory system actually inhibits or create stumbling blocks to small industry owners. They don't know the difference between a small up processing system and heavy industrial processing systems. It's like they, they think it's a one-size-fits-all, which is wrong. 
That's why the European industry or the European economy is driven by small and medium-sized enterprises. All your permits in a local council in the UK. Here, you need the federal government to give you all the simple permits. Here, NAVDAC, for instance, is asking you to have this, have this, have that. Meanwhile, you're supposed to be a small batch chocolate maker. So how does that encourage growth? It doesn't. What an exhibition. Without a doubt, the finger-licking chocolate flavors on display will definitely have more guests attending next year's edition. That will be from 3rd to 5th April 2020. Between now and then, from us, we say, enjoy your chocolate. No nation depends on one source of revenue if it wants to create a sustainable economic development and a future for its citizens. Countries have all grown and sustained their respective economies through non-oil exports and Nigeria Export Promotion Council, NEPC, is strategically positioned to do more on 22 priority export products under the Zero Oil Plan the One State, One Product Initiative and the Nigeria Diaspora Export Program, which are needed pillars of success in our economic recovery and growth plan. Invest in non-oil export business such as sorghum, cassava, yam, shearnut, ginger and rip bountifully. Export business guarantees a prosperous future through inclusive wealth and job creation. Join hands to make Nigeria one of the top 20 largest economies in the world. Export business, tomorrow's business. For further inquiries, visit .nepc.gov.ng. This is Nigeria, unlocking our potential. A country of over 200 million people is obviously the marketplace and the investment destination of choice. Every week, we bring you the non-oil sectors of the economy, ranging from agriculture, solid minerals, human capital development, education, health, and many more. Join us every Wednesday, 12.30 p.m. on this channel. This is Nigeria, unlocking our potential. Well, this is where we draw the curtains today. Every good road must have an end, like I always say on this program. Imagine the kind of chocolate. There was actually a chocolate that had Zobo flavor on it. It was very interesting, very Nigerian. I'm very proud of all the exhibitors at the Eco Chocolate Show. They're really making us proud. What are you waiting for? Are you creative with chocolates? You can do so many wonderful things with cocoa products in Nigeria. Even cocoa butter, uh, cocoa flour, and just cocoa drink, it's very healthy. I'm sure there's a lot of medicinal value to cocoa and Nigeria needs to step up again because it's one of the biggest products that Nigeria has in abundance. My name is Mayowa Oluwabi. Thank you for watching. God bless Nigeria.